Hi everyone, welcome back to e-commerce success by Ad360. Today we're going to review a free study from the Baymod Institute talking about the optimal line length. The purpose is to make sure your website visitors are actually reading your text, especially the ones that are impactful, powerful, uh, where you say a ton of stuff. If you read that, if you, I mean, if you write that but nobody reads it, that's, uh, that's a missed opportunity, right? So I think it's an interesting uh, study. I uh, read it today and I wanted to share these uh, findings with you. If you like this content and this channel, please subscribe, comment below, like this video. All these small actions really make a big difference and they, el they help us grow the channel and help many business owners be happy, productive and successful. So thank you in advance. This video is brought to you by Ad360. Ad360 is the easiest way to start advertising all over the web in just one click. More on that at the end of the video. Okay, let's have a look. So this is the Baymod Institute. So I've reviewed already a few of these, re of these uh, studies. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I really like what they're doing. They're doing a ton of uh, research uh, where they analyze uh, a vast number of online shops, e-commerce businesses, they make focus groups, they ask for uh, website visitors feedback and they make very nice studies that are really insightful. And so today the topic is readability, the optimal line length. Now it might seem like it's a small detail and it's a very technical thing, but as we said yesterday in yesterday's video, if you haven't seen it, check below uh, the video of yesterday, Texts and descriptions matter really much. They are super important. They matter very much. You need to have these on your website still today, still in 2022. It's super important to create rapport with your visitors so that they understand who you are, what's your story, what's your mission statement, why you're doing business and why they should buy from you and not some, somebody else. The problem is if the text is uh, poorly written or not really agreeable to read, nobody's going to get the gist of it. So you're, you know, it's as if it's not there. And so you see from this first example, it's a bit visual. Let me see if I can increase the size of the screen a bit maybe. Um, from this first example, we see, you know, this is three times the same text, but the line length, so how many characters per line you're writing has a big impact on readability. And so, you know, just as the conclusion of the study, you need to have between 50 and 75 characters per line, uh, including spaces to maximize readability. And the same text, you know, three times this one is much more, I agree, I think this one is much more uh, agreeable to be read compared to the first one, which is way too narrow. And the last one, which, you know, is too long, so you have to move your head too much. I don't know if it's a psychological thing or not, but. It's, it seems uh, a bit less, a bit more painful to, to read compared to the middle one. So the optimal line length for body text is 50 to 75 characters. Shorter or longer line length can hurt readability. Our large scale testing reveals that text line length often makes product or service uh, descriptions unnecessarily difficult to, for users to read. So that's super, super important. Okay, I'm not going to read everything, but uh, I want to show you a few of the examples of the first one we already saw. Let me get directly to um, the, the, the key content. So they explained, they, they both studied some con uh, content from uh, Emil Ruder, a mid 20th century Swiss graphic designer. And in his book, uh, Typography, he already said the optimal line length for body text is between 50 and 60 characters. You have other sources and they made other studies on a wide range of websites uh, with you know uh, users feedback being recorded to see what people are saying so here's an example uh, so you see the website the text and uh, this below is the comment from the user so a random user analyzing the website so a potential buyer they're saying there was too much uh, there's way too much here i can't even suss out what would be helpful this user on Mahalo found a lengthy description paragraphs hard to digest. So chances are they're not going to read anything. And that's a shame because if you add longer descriptions with big text, it's because you want to convey a ton of information. 
and the more information you convey the you know more reasons you're going to give to people to buy your products but if they're poorly formatted and people don't actually read that it's as if you haven't said anything so you have to find the right middle ground here's another example so this one i think the the, the length could be okay it's maybe a bit too long it's longer than this 50 to 75 characters but it's also too uh, long and has doesn't have any um, ways of uh, making some elements stand out I think it's a bit too monotonous in my opinion let's see what the users have to say it's a little more difficult I would say to just kind of read through this I'm never a fan of having to read through all this material so users what I get from that is user come oh, sorry can see the text so, yeah so users are considering this uh, difficult uh, I think it's you know an effort for them to make and this reminds me of the video we made last week on the return on click investment it's a bit of the same before clicking on something people are going to mentally and subconsciously evaluate whether it's worth it or not for them to click whether uh, they're going to like what they're seeing based on what they are expecting to see and so if things are not clear or you know they don't really know what they're going to get or if they're disappointed on landing they might leave because there's a mismatch between the effort of the click and the return they gain here's a bit the same this we could say there's like a return on uh, reading text so am i getting good return for my effort or not so um so the optimal text line length for e-commerce sites and accessibility con uh, concerns so they're saying you know 80 or fewer character um they made some research i'm not going to go through all of that but uh they're using some tips in terms of css how you could do that um and here's a, a nice example which i like because it reminds me of the um the bose oh actually it's from bose right so this is the bose website i was going to say this remind me of the bose website i actually already made a video you can find it in the description it will be the first referenced video link usually in my descriptions i put a few videos that are connected to the topic of the day so you'll find it i made a video looking at the bose website and looking at how they present their products and the features the benefits user stories and i think they really nailed it it's super super well done and so for them usually you have an image and a text so you see it makes the text easier to read so it's not just to illustrate uh, what they're saying it's also to make the text easier to read and to digest so that's super super interesting so let's see what the user have to say below so they're making a different point with the place where you play bluetooth connectivity it's a lot easier for me to understand you can tell that these are the selling features that make our speakers different from others and this is what makes it special so this is a user commenting on the Bose website. They found it easy to navigate the product description from, uh, sorry, for uh, Bluetooth speakers, which was structured by feature highlights and had line length that supported readability. So two things, so line length is better compared to the examples above that we had, this one, but also it's broken down. So how do they do this? With three elements. First one is the title. So you have two titles, plays, where you play, and Bluetooth connectivity. So you have the title, the big title that's break, that breaks a bit the, the pattern and uh, you know, makes it stand out. So you understand these are two different things. You can actually you know, miss one, go next to the one that you're interested in. So it's easier to navigate. The second thing they're doing is they're using images to you know, break a bit. It's not just text. You have text, image, uh, image, and text. And the third thing, so they switch you know the, the pattern so to make it maybe a bit more lively so they have a text on the left an image on the right and here image on the left text on the right so that's something you can do especially on their website because they have a ton of features like that you have maybe you know between five and ten different paragraphs like this so to make things more lively you can jump from left to right uh, that's uh, something frequent here's another tip so compared you see to the previous text which was uh, too long to you know uh, dry you know like not fun enough to read this one just with the bullet points and some you know items highlighted in uh, with bold boldness uh, they're making the text way more uh, digestible so let's see what the user has to say i wanted to see if it was waterproof 
and it said don't submerge it can we see where this is said um, slash proof yeah just don't submerge it so you see I found this pretty easily I was looking for waterproof something then I found splash proof and then I found water and just don't submerge it if I was looking for something specific in the text above like this one chances are I wouldn't find it quickly at just a glance so having titles like this allow also you your users that are looking for a specific information a specific response a key piece of information that they're looking for allows them to find it super easy so this user says uh, I thought it was super helpful to know. So this user that found super easily and quickly the information they were looking for, they're way more likely to buy right away the product. If you have a long description, which is super hard to read and they're not finding right away the information they're looking for, they might leave your website and go on the competitor's website just by, you know, they go back to Google, they, they type, you know, uh, waterproof uh, case or phone or whatever. Uh, and, and they might just leave your website because of that. So, you know, getting your UX right and your descriptions uh, in a user-friendly manner is really going to be super helpful. Another one here, you see, so when you don't have an image to break, break the, the pattern, you can just use uh, uh, like a description on the left and then bullet points on the right. I, f I find this super interesting. And the title, of course, to really highlight a, a certain element. Um, okay, okay, that's it. So is that a conclusion? Um, by setting line length to support readability sites will encourage users to learn more about their products and services, which, as our testing has shown, typically results in increased user interest and increases the likelihood that users will decide to purchase a product or service. So this is not just like a technicality for website design uh, designers or design experts, uh, UX professionals. No, this is something you should care about. And it's not going to take a lot of time for you to, you know, change a bit uh, how you're, you know, you're writing your text, making sure they have the right length, you know, making your text a bit less monotonous by using bullet points, highlighted words, a bold, uh, italic, maybe some images, subtitles. You have a ton of different tips like that to make things more lively, more uh, digestible, more readable. And this is going to result in better uh, conversions. Let's look at the last example. For example, last week we had a review a couple of times this shop. So all things baby shop. So this business owner is really making changes spot on whenever we uh, point out something. So I want to help you today again. I think this text about us, which is really good. So last time I told you it was too small. So it was completely unreadable. So you made an improvement by increasing the, the text size. So I think it's much better. But I think this text suffers maybe from the same problem some of these uh, texts uh, face. So first, it's too long. So maybe users are discouraged to read because it looks like a lot of effort to read. Secondly, like this uh, first or second examples we saw, the text is too monotonous. You have like everything bolded, which is a bit strange. So, you know, the text is like bolder than the header. It's, you know, the, the font weight is higher. So it makes it a bit difficult to read. I think it's more efficient to have only maybe certain subtitles uh, in bold or keywords or key you know, groups of words to really highlight certain elements. So for example, here you say, you know, family owned, that's something that could be uh, bolded. Uh, or this sentence, we launch a baby store after having our first child, you know, key elements like that. Um, is there something as you know, like a uh, customer center? It may be, um, you know, you, you decide what really stands out in your opinion, but I think, you know, you'd be better off maybe so sort of reducing the size. So making the text narrow, so you can put like a space on the left and right, make sure it's, you know, more narrow, maybe breaking down a bit. The second paragraph, maybe just have a, a key, you know, title like that. And then a few bullet points. You say great shopping experience. Uh, you know, we, we, we pride ourselves in customer service. It's really important for us. We have comprehensive policies, you know, whatever you can maybe change a bit this, the, the, the way you format or structure this text. Another thing you could do, which I think is a great idea is using a 
personal picture to illustrate your about us or maybe an image from your Instagram you know so if you can put maybe on the left a small image that shows you yourself you know your family um, you know so the whole family or just the parents or the parents with the baby or something so I think that's going to make it more personal you can have this image on the left and the text on the right which is also going to serve this purpose of making things more readable like on the Bose website okay I hope this uh, little tip uh, will be helpful to you and to everyone else that has uh, descriptions on their website and you should have if you don't have description if you're not saying anything don't think you're better off you're actually worse so check yesterday's video and the other videos that are listed in the description uh, where I review Google's guidelines for content on e-commerce websites and in websites in general uh, how to get picked up and indexed and served as a response by the search engine algorithms um, why you need better product descriptions how you create trust with buyers and increase conversion rates by adding better descriptions so all of these videos you can find in the description below okay thank you very much I hope you learned a few interesting things today if you want to grow your shop after you finished optimizing all the content and the shop is great, well presented, you have all the product, the pictures, the next step is running ads and bringing qualified audiences to your shop. So people that care about what you're doing, about your products, about uh, you know your mission. And to do that, it's never been easier thanks to Ad360. So Ad360 is our app that you can find on Shopify and soon on WooCommerce. You can download the app uh, for free there's a 14 day free trial you can try it for yourself and so the big benefit of the app is that you can just get started with you know with everything will be covered in less than five minutes you can install the app for the onboarding uh, two steps super easily and then you can click on one button to start advertising and everything is automatically generated you have banners with your product info and we run these on the relevant website so we find automatically websites to run your ads into we are connected to hundreds of millions of websites so news uh, blogs you know websites talking about a certain uh, topic and we're going to find the right placements and focus your budget where it's going to bring you the most views the most clicks on your website and the most sales so if you want to learn more feel free to try for yourself and download the app from the link in the description thank you very much i wish you a ton of success and a ton of happy customers